in life, we have to have courage for many things. Some of us, it's just courage to put our feet on the floor in the morning after we get out of bed. Other, others of us, it's courage to continue to endure a challenge that um, we are facing. Some of you guys, it might be courage um, to just have the belief that you can change your situation and um, change the outcome. So today, we're gonna have courage that we can last this eight minutes and just know that after this eight minutes, we are gonna be a little bit stronger and hope, us, hope for us to build a little more courage in our bodies and our abilities and just really improve on that mindset. So have courage today. This exercise is gonna be eight minute and then remember AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. So we're gonna go as many rounds as we can through this eight minutes. Now there may be a reason why I haven't showed you the exercises yet. <laughs> we have a burpee box jump. Wow, just when you thought burpees couldn't get any harder, we add a box jump into that. Eight of those, and then you're gonna do 16 kettlebell swings, but guess what, the rest of it, blank. At the end, we're just gonna alternate between these two exercises. I'm gonna have my beautiful and courageous demonstrators and teammates show us how to do this. So Gail's gonna show you guys how to do a little bit of a modification, where we're gonna do a burpee to a step up. And then Aaliyah's gonna do the burpee to the box jump. So just notice you're gonna be close when you jump up, back down. What I want you to be careful for is that you're not gonna hit your chin on anything. <laughs> All right, so that's the burpee to a step up. Then Aaliyah's got the burpee to a box jump. So notice how she kind of adds a little extra hop in there, raises the knees to the chest, perfect. So that's the burpee to a box jump the regular way. Another modification you could do is if you don't have something to step up on, burpee to a tuck jump. Right, so bring your knees to the chest. Man, she's doing awesome. Great job. Okay, let's pretend that that's eight right there. Now, with your step up, guys, you can see how high we challenged ourselves to. Maybe at home, it's a stairway that is going to upstairs or downstairs, and maybe you're just gonna do a little bit smaller. Maybe it's just going to be a one step. Maybe you're a two stepper. Um, just go to the height to your ability level, right? So as soon as we get done with those eight burpee to box jumps, we're moving right over to the kettlebell swings. So I'm gonna have Gail show us the swing. And if you can, guys, try and pick a heavy weight. Go ahead, yep. So try and pick a heavy weight because we're doing 16 of these, but we're only going eight minutes. So really challenge the body, guys. Okay, so that, I'm actually gonna have her bring her feet in just a smidgen. Yeah, there we go. So hips are gonna be right under, or sorry, feet are gonna be right underneath the hips. So that's 16 of those guys, all right? Then I'm gonna have Aaliyah show. Alternative, you can do a goblet squat. So just holding the weight if you don't have a kettlebell. It could be a dumbbell. You could even be using bands that you have strapped underneath your feet that are causing a little extra resistance, right? That's the squat. Or just drop the weight all together and just do body weight squats, right? And remember, these workouts are all to your ability and fitness levels. So once we get done with 16 of those, we're flipping right back to those eight burpee to box jumps and we're going as many rounds as we can now take as little a break between the exercises as you can just to keep that um, cardiovascular uh, pounding and oxygen coming in through the lungs and guys eight minutes this is going to help us to burn energy aka calories for the next 24 to 36 hours and all it took you was eight minutes all right, let us know how you did, guys. Get out there, have courage today.